at YouTube. I clipped this just to show off my thoughts on some upcoming content. If you want to check out the full video, please check it out in the card to the right. Otherwise, enjoy this short piece. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's get started. And I want to give a little prelude before I go on it because this month is hyped as being pretty nasty. And like I said, I'm recording this right before Reno's event, which is really the, the real uh, <laughs> foot on the gas. Like, like this is hard, but there's a lot of synergy bias this month. And it's going to be pretty split from the people who pull synergy and use it. Like example, uh, Lightning's raid event is actually very hard without using Lightning, a Burst, and or Gladio. Uh, if you think that fight was easy, try not using Lightning or Gladio or a Burst and you'll get a different taste on it. Because so far the only person I've seen do it without a Burst or a Lightning and Gladio is Belial who did a Realm uh, Dash and Aphmau. Follow his channel if you haven't by the way. He does hilarious crazy runs. He's the Realm guy. But um, one, it's going to be a bit easier this month by nature of having one Vivi. Vivi is an insane damage dealer. Uh, he's gonna be able to pump up massive damage uh, and get you to do these damage races. And two, having per visible HP percentages in global uh, is amazing because a lot of these troublesome bosses have conditions that activate at HP thresholds. And the fact that we couldn't see them when it happened in JP made it a lot harder and we were kind of flying blind. Uh, thirdly, what was I gonna say? Um, well, foresight per usual is always helpful. Also, being able to just read the boss's effects in game is going to be a lot uh, more helpful. So, having all this in mind is going to be a ton easier than the JP. If you don't struggle that much and or use synergy, that does not mean these fights are overhyped. Try coming at it from a different perspective. These fights are not easy. These fights are not easy. And flexing about them is going to make you look like a clown. They are challenging. People will have a tough time. The people who have been bragging about easy Lufenia are probably going to... I'm not they're not gonna have a fun time some of them some of the most ardent uh synergy runners and stuff and meta people probably will brush it off and try and seem like they're cool but they're not and i'm probably gonna get more material for my tier list uh <laughs> at the same time it's not the end of the world if it's hard and you're struggling don't get too frustrated it's just a game you will live and you can figure something out the community will figure out different ways the global community is way more connected uh again we can read uh discord community is way more fire and if you really are stuck skipping is fine it's just some lufenia armor tokens that you don't really need anyways unless they're a completionist i guess it drive you crazy but don't sink your resources out of frustration and if you're someone who pretends to play jp and you know who you are the backseaters or the people who have a jp account but don't really play and they act like they're very knowledgeable but they're way off base and you're laughing at people for having trouble with fights that you didn't beat or you haven't proven you've beaten uh, and calling them like cringe global plebeians like I, I see that so much on like the square and extremes or other weirdos Please uh, I could be really mean, but I'm just gonna say <laughs> uh, Go go get a life you're a loser weirdos who need to get some Sun instead of trolling square and extremes with your cringe and it's absolute cringe I can't stand it. I have secondhand embarrassment from playing JP I didn't even know these people existed like I'm like oh people are like JP elitist like no one no one cares about that But it's really the people who have the most to say usually have done the least so if they're talking a lot of game, but they're not posting their clears, they're not you no know, skin in the game, ignore them, laugh at them, call them cringe because they are. It's time to stop. You aren't funny. All right. All right. <laughs> Where did that come from? That was a, <laughs> that was angry. I need some, need some more coffee. Uh, <laughs> this is rough month. Like I said, like I ranted earlier, it's, you're going to have a hard time. Buckle in and have fun. Don't stress. It's just a game. Ignore goofballs who played JP and didn't actually complete this content, but try and make global players feel bad. Uh, just ask them. Really, the, the, really, the counter to that is, oh, you think I'm going to struggle on it? Did you have a hard time? Did you beat it? Watch the silence. Watch the silence, because a lot of these guys who have a lot to say don't put in the work themselves. Global will get through it. Global ingenuity always proves itself. Keep that in mind, and... We'll keep pushing on. The game will not end, even if you have to skip a fight or two. I know people who JP side skipped it, and they're still playing, and they're still alive. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed the clip. Please drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Please be sure to check out the full video in the card, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.